वेलकम गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 1.6 ऑफ एनबीएचएम एमए एमएससी 2018 सो लेट अस फर्स्टली रीड दिस क्वेश्चन लेट सिग्मा बिलोंग्स टू एस7 बी द परम्यूटेशन गिवन बाय सिग्मा इज इक्वल टू दिस ओके सो सिग्मा इज अ परम्यूटेशन फ्रॉम एस7 वेयर एस7 इज अ सिमेट्रिक ग्रुप ऑफ ऑन सेवन सिंबल्स ओके व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग परम्यूटेशंस आर कंजुगेट टू सिग्मा so you have two options and you have to check which one of them is conjugate to uh, sigma okay so before proceeding this question let us recall the definition of okay definition of conjugacy okay for two permutations so let us firstly read our note number 1 note number 1 says a comma b belonging to group and then a is said to be conjugate to b if there exist an element g belongs to g such that a is equal to gb g inverse you are getting my point so this one is actually a standard definition okay standard definition for the conjugacy so a is said to be con a is said to be conjugate to b if there exist g such that a is equal to gb g inverse okay now let us see here you have sigma let us say these these this one is tau okay let us say this one is tau 1 and this one is tau 2 okay so these are your two permutations now if you use this standard definition what you have to show that if sigma is if sigma is conjugate to tau 1 then you have to show there exist okay then what you have to show there exist a permutation pi which belongs to sn such that sigma is equal to pi pi tau 1 pi inverse okay this is what you have to show if you use this standard definition okay this one is the definition of conjugacy but we will use note number 2 because it will be very difficult okay it will be very difficult to find out pi from s7 okay how many element s7 has s7 has seven factorial element okay so s7 has seven factorial element so there are many element inside this group okay you cannot uh, predict actually what will be pi there okay such that the product of these three is going to give you sigma so i am not going to use this standard definition you are you are getting a point this will be very difficult to find out pi such that sigma is equal to pi tau 1 pi inverse okay and it will be uh, it will be just a piece of luck if you find out pi i am going to use this note number 2 okay so what note number 2 says that if sigma and tau belongs to s and b two permutations then sigma is said to be conjugate to tau if and only if they have same cyclic structure okay so this note is very very important okay because using this note we can solve this question in minutes not minute in seconds okay so now i will define what is the meaning of same cyclic structure while i am solving the question okay now first of all write your sigma what is your sigma your sigma is 1 2 2 1 3 5 4 4 5 7 6 6 7 3 5 7 6 6 7 3 okay in order to determine whether they have same cyclic structure or not you have to follow this step what is step number 1 okay so step 1 is write sigma okay tau 1 and tau 2 as product okay product of disjoint cycle okay this is the step number 1 that you have to follow so firstly write this one as the product of disjoint cycles okay so it's very easy you can directly write it so you can write this thing as 1 2 3 5 7 okay so two elements are fixed four is mapped to four and six is mapped to six okay so two element are fixed so since two elements are fixed okay so you have seven okay you have permutation on seven symbols so the structure cyclic structure will be 2 plus 3 plus since two elements are fixed so 1 plus 1 okay 
what is this this is the act this is actually the decomposition of seven you are getting my point this is actually a decomposition of seven so whenever you are given with a permutation you can always decompose it okay right like this what do you have to do you have to just write this permutation as product of disjoint cycles so you have written is at written this permutation as product of disjoint cycles so you see this is the permutation this is a transposition you can say so it has length 2 so you just write 2 this is a cycle of length 3 so you write 3 now in the next step 4 is mapped to 4 so that will be a cycle of length 1 so 1 is right written there and you see 6 is mapped to 6 therefore uh, 1 is written there you are getting my point now let us decompose tau 1 so what is tau 1 tau 1 is okay so uh, I'm not writing down, I'm just writing down the decomposition. So one is mapped to one, so I'm not going to write one, two, three, five, okay. So two, three, uh, two, three, five, okay. And then four, six, okay, four, six and seven, okay. So how many elements are fixed in this tau one? So, uh, the only element that is fixed is one is to one. So therefore, the decomposition of 7 here will be like this, 3 plus 3, where 3 is the length of cycle 3, 3 is the length of cycle 3, one element is fixed, so there, there is only one cycle which is of length 1. So this is the decomposition, okay. Now let us write down the decomposition of tau 2. So in tau 2, you have 2, 4, 6, okay, 2, 4, 6. 3, 5, okay. So in this, in this permutation, you have 1 is fixed to 1 and 7 is fixed to 7. Therefore, you have two cycles of length 1. So the decomposition will be 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1, okay. So now let us read again the definition. It says sigma comma tau belonging to Sn, then sigma is said to be conjugate to tau if and only if they have same cyclic structure. So this is the thing that I am talking about. This is the cyclic structure. You are getting my point? This one is cyclic structure of tau 1. Okay, cyclic structure of sigma, cyclic structure of tau 1. This one is cyclic structure of tau 2. So you see cyclic structure of sigma is equal to cyclic structure of tau 2. So according to this note, what you can directly say that sigma is conjugate to pi, okay? Not pi, sorry, tau 2. Sigma is conjugate to tau 2. You are getting my point? Since tau 1 and sigma don't have same cyclic structure, therefore you can do this. You are getting my point? So, thank you.